Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Hanyman LPAs again. Um, I have a new video today how to uh, fix a transformer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for being here today. First for, of all, I wanna wish you all my hopes uh, to everyone out there. So please uh, stay safe, uh, try to stay at home. I know it's a really a uh, little bit difficult to stay at home without doing our duties out there, but um, it's better if you stay at home. So try to uh, enjoy my video, uh, try to focus on something like that, and and ev everything is going to be okay. Hope everything soon will become as normal as the way it's every day, you know. So please try to stay calm with the family and just enjoy this video welcome back to my channel my friends um, today i have this video about how to fix this uh, transformers these transformers are bad right now this usually controls the uh, the 120 volts it allows you to use uh, 12 volts or something like that, uh, 12 volts uh, light bulbs something like that but um in this case this is it's just uh, stop working, but we're going to uh, fix it. This is a light bulb that we usually use with this. Okay, you can use many as you can uh, at least like six, eight with this uh, transformers. So now we're going to see what exactly is going on inside. We're trying to open the areas to see what happened inside. I already tried to open to see what's going on, but I decided to make this video. So I'm going to show you what exactly is, is inside. It's just, as you see, there is a screw on the side. It's a Phillips screw, all right? And just easily you lift the cover. And now you can just pull him, pull this gently because uh, it has like a, a paper box inside, okay? So... What I did is I started scratching because to discover the parts inside because it has like a silicone cover all over. You see it's it has this silicone like you see this? It makes it like a gasket or something like that, but I start uh, peeling off on the sides right here to see what is uh, inside. You can use something like a screwdriver or something like that. You gotta be very gentle. Okay, so I'm using this little screwdriver here just to remove some of the gasket that is inside, just to discover what part you have in here is to see if there is any damage on the parts or something like that, or if you find something. But I discovered this. Uh, this capacitor here, but um, I thought the capacitor is bad, but it's, it's okay. It looks like fine. But there is something that I found here at the at the edge of the of the part. It is usually at the main uh, main power entrance. It's a, a protector fuse here. If you, uh, if you can see this one, trying to close the camera. But if you see this capacitor, this is the one that is blown because I can see. It's black inside. You need to peel the gasket, okay? Remove the gasket here just to make sure what um, what's going on with this fuse, okay? Most of the capacitor they have like a blown fuse on the on the at the main entrance of the power. So uh, right now we're just uh, trying to remove this uh, this fuse but we're going to test it first to see if it's okay because we need to before we remove we need to test if it's okay or not so we're going to use the, our multimeter okay that's how we're going to do with the multimeter there you go you put in continuity and we're going to to test 
this uh, this fuse okay just make sure your uh, multimeter is working fine okay there you go okay now it's okay so now we're going to put uh, on the on the fuse you put one side one pin on one side and another pin on the other side just like this okay I know it's a little bit not easy okay you see it's supposed to give some uh, signal but there is nothing it's like a dead so that means this is uh, bad okay I'm gonna do it again just to make sure that this is uh, the other one here. Not blown here because we don't want to remove it yeah. unless it's bad. Okay, you see, there's nothing. See nothing. The it's dead. So, is there, is there so that means here? this is the one. So now we're, we're going to gonna test one. with the good one, and you're going to see the difference. See, okay. this is a good fuse. As you see, All right? it's rich. Yeah, so that's it's how it's going fuse. to look. The one that you ordered, the new one. So now we're going to. Clean this uh, this uh, fuse. We we're going to remove. We're going to put. Uh, we're going to remove the solder from one side, from the back, okay, and it will easily come out with a little force from the other side. And, and as long as you hit the 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 soldering. Oh, right, as you see, I mean, you can just keep uh, warming up, but it will come out see now you can just pull from the other side a little bit and then it will come out okay exactly see now we need to find out the information of this uh, fuse this is very important about how to find the, the information from this uh, from this fuse I see it's blown it is black inside so it's bad so basically we need to see how many amps is it and everything so I need to see the, I need to find out the way to 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 get the information for this uh, fuse because we need the right information the amps it's the most important thing because uh, the voltage it's one thing and the amps is different the amps it's what we need to see what how many amps is it so that's what we need to find out. Okay, this is the information. I find out the information of this fuse. Okay, so you need to go online and find this is a this is the info. It's a 4A, okay? It's a 4 amps. This is the important thing. It's a 4 amps. Okay? There you go. So you can read and you can find the, the part. The four amps and it's one twenty five amps. I mean volts. One twenty five volts. And you can order either a ten millimeter uh, longer or a twenty. So the ten is the one that is the original one. It's the twenty. I mean it's a ten. But uh, the new one, the one that I was uh, using as a sample of, of the fuse, that's 20 millimeters. So you can use either one. It's fine because we're going to be using a fuse holder. So you can, uh, you can in the future, you can just change easily. It's not this way we are doing. Okay, you might want to use this loop to, just to, to see the information or something. But I know in the camera you can't see anything, but... Normally you can see, uh, okay, so we're just done with the information. And this is what I'm talking about, the fuse holder. This is important, it makes your life easy later. Because you can just always, uh, in the future if something burns, you just put the fuse inside. You see, that's it. Okay, you got it? And it's in. This is what we need. Yes. 
see let's say it's born then we're gonna we're gonna use you're gonna use this um, this uh, wire stripper to to make a little ping so we can go inside the board okay do it both sides I mean you can just do it right away the way it is right now but usually I, I, I peel a little more so I can so I can cut some of the wires to make a little thinner okay let's see you just remove some of the wire you leave something the thickness of the little hole in the board okay that's what we're gonna use all right because this wire is come usually comes uh, really thick because it means because uh, you can use on so many different things but trust me I've been using these these fuse holders and uh, in doing the same thing for a long long time I've been uh, fixing uh, refrigerators and all stuff so and 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 they've been working fine for years so that means there is no problem to put uh, thin wire in, in the board okay so that don't think that because it's the wire is thin it might gonna give you trouble no it should be fine so it's as long as it gets the signal from the from the board it's good obviously it doesn't have to be too too thin okay you see this this tiny hole this is what we we're trying to do we we're trying to fit this wire inside the hole right there see there you go see as long as you can cross to the other side so you can put you can touch this the soldering see okay so it's in now we're going to use the soldering the soldering wire and we're going to put some in the back there's still some we're going to put just to hold a little bit so it doesn't come out again okay You see, okay, you see, it has some of it, but we need to put more. Okay, there you go. Forgive for the mistakes here because it's not easy to hold the, the all the camera and and the tools here working. Not easy. Well. Now we're going to put some soldering wire in the back. Okay, just like that, just some of it, okay? Just be careful, don't spray it in any word soldering because otherwise it's going to cross to a, to a different uh, entrance of, uh, of the main board and it's going to give you trouble, obviously. You don't want to have a circuit board in somewhere. See, just a little bit. He has enough space to put some soldering, so don't worry about it. Okay, there you go. We have one side in now. See, there you go. It no matter what side you, you can put it in, so it's it's same thing. So it doesn't have plus or minus, nothing like that. So now we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Just try to fit in the little hole. That's why we cut the, some of the wire and we make it thinner. Okay, it crossed to the other side already. Okay, make sure it does not like going out too much. It has to be just tiny little bit as long as it just uh, touch the, the soldering wire from the other side and it should be fine. Okay, because you leave too long and bending in the back of the of the board then it's going to make a circuit okay it has to be tiny bit okay as long as it just crossed to the other side that's that's good enough as you see we have a little tiny bit coming out and that's good now we're going to put some soldering wire in the back there you go not really good on soldering so, so but i'm trying you know i'm trying to see as long as i can reach 
not really good at doing little small things. You see this? It came good. That's good enough. So with that, you should be fine. You don't want to be bothering no more to the main board. So it's good. See? Now we have the two parts inside. See the way it is right now? Cool. So we have the two parts inside and there's no problem with the rest. Okay, so now you can always easily just take the fuse, go inside, and and just clamp it. Let's say this, let's say in the future this uh, this fuse blows out. Okay, if this fuse blows out. You just remove this thing right now. Okay, get an, another another fuse or something. There you go, you see, just this is just a sample. Get a new fuse, put it back in, clamp in, and that's it, you're easy to go, and you're not going to do the whole job, uh, the entire job again, so this is a one-time job. You see, in the future, if that something blows, you're still going to be using the same um, transformer. Something easy. So to do this job is going to take a little time, but it's one time job. Let's see how it is. Nice, came up really good. Now we're going to uh, fill with silicone. Uh, we, you can use either silicone or I'm using this, uh, this the heat gun to put this kind of what is it? It's something is silicone. But also you can use the other silicones from tubes or whatever, as long as it covers because this is a protector for the water or something like that in case some water drops in. You can protect the areas. Okay, so right now I put with the heat gun, but you gotta do right away the close this paper because as long as it gets hard, then you won't be able to fit in the little box. So, so as long uh, as soon as you put the the silicone inside there with the heat gun, take the box and you can fit it in. But make sure, make sure it's fitting the the right way. Because remember, this has a Phillips screwdriver on the side. Okay. You see, this is the hole, and the hole is on the other side, so that's the way you, you need to put it. Now, since everything is still warm, you can just push in, and it goes easily, okay? And then everything, obviously, the box will will, will get the shape that it's supposed to. So now you just uh, keep filling it, filling in all the areas that is discovered, like you know, anywhere that you peeled. Okay, you gotta be really hot so you can go, you can f uh, refill in the uh, tiny holes and everything. Okay, so now you're going to try to, we're going to put this, instead of one wire coming out, it's going to be two wires coming out on each side of this area. Remember before how it was? Okay, so Remember, this is not original, so this is going to be different. This is like uh, rem basically a rem uh, redo it, so uh, the fuse is going to be hanging out easily for next time. Uh, I mean, but obviously the, the fuse is covered and everything is protected, so that's not a problem. So it's just going to be like like regular uh, main power uh, wire that is that has a, the wire cap something like that just something like that okay so just put all the silicone anywhere you you like let them dry a little bit so you can hold your uh, your wires at the place that it's supposed to be so we can put the, the protector cover back later so Nicely, just put some however you want. If you want, you can cover more of those areas because right now we have the fuse out, which is good, so we don't have to be digging inside the box. All right, so now this is uh, this is going to be the same, same way it was before, like the exit. Remember, the where the red, red cables are that's the main power entrance, okay, and the exit is where the blue wires are. So the main power it's the the 125, 120. I'm sorry, and then uh, the exit is uh, converted to 12 volts. All right. So you can use as many lights you want as long as it's 12 volts. See, this is the main, the main power is 120. 
Okay, make sure the 120 goes to the white and, and, and black wires, okay? Always put the same way as before, okay? You gotta make sure that you put the, the cover as the way it's supposed to be, like facing the, the input to the input, the, the output to the output, so, so nobody gets confused later. But if you know about the electric work, I mean, you will be fine. So now you're gonna uh, twist a little pin here, put it back as the way it was before. And yeah, guys, we're enjoying this this uh, job. I really like. I feel really uh, happy when when things are coming out really good. So that's a fill up drive, uh, fill up uh, screwdriver. So. I think honestly I think I lost that one because I wasn't thinking at the beginning to fix it I was just curious what's going on inside but um, but you just save the, the Phillips screw okay so don't lose it but in this case I'm just gonna put some silicone I might put silicone in the little hole too just to cover as long as the water doesn't go in okay so this silicone is like also flexible in the future in case just in case you need to open you can open but I don't think I'm gonna have really necessary to to open it since I have the, the main fuse outside now there you go you just put some silicone around in the areas anywhere you want to what you want to have it sealed if you think the water is going to go inside or something like that usually that this you don't have to keep where the water water it's uh, I mean we don't have to keep close to the water honestly we had to keep on this in anywhere with the safety boxes together with the with the main uh, wires, uh, uh, electrical wires. Are, that's where it's supposed to be, and it's protected just with the electrical box, and that's all. Okay, so we have this uh, this light bulb. This is the one that we're going to light up. Okay. This is the one that uh, I was talking about. You can use as many lights you want with this, and this will uh, this uh, this this light bulb supposed to go in, and that's what we're going to light up with this transformer. This is what we we usually uh, use for this kind of light. Okay. Okay, so now you get this one, you put the light bulb in, and we're going to to connect together. This is just a test, okay, so forgive me and if you say that maybe uh, it's unsafe like the way I'm doing it, but I'm just testing it because I'm not sure if it's working yet or not, but uh, like I said, I mean, we did everything the right way it's supposed to, I mean, it should be working, but, but you never know, so we're just doing temporary, so just to to make sure that everything works. After everything works, obviously we can seal the wires or, or, or cup with uh, electrical cups or whatever, but um, right now I'm just trying to do a quick test so you can see if our job was successful and it did work, you know. So let's see, we're going to put a piece of tape obviously because my wires are too long. If you want you can cut the points, uh, the you can cut the ends of the wire and make it shorter, but I don't want to cut this wire no more because I might be going to use it later and I don't want to keep doing shorter and shorter. So I'm just going to protect with the uh, electrical uh, tape and just leave a little point in there. See? There you go. Just so it doesn't touch each other because you don't want to touch each other. If you, if, if you touch each, each, uh, each other, then it's going to be a short, you might want to blow on your fuse again and then it's a problem. Obviously you just change the fuse now, <laughs> it's easy. There you go, you see, you can put this one here and it's light up, okay? There you go, so then 
nicely. The light came on and everything is working fine. I like it, I love it, I can install more lights, I can just go from this line, I can just keep going with more lights and it's awesome, you can use uh, like on the uh, flooring uh, shelves or cabinets or inside the closets or something like that, like underneath the, 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 the cabinet, the kitchen cabinets and also, so it's, it's really good, I like it, thank you very much for uh, spending your time with me. Uh, give you a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to make more videos together and don't forget to share and like.